Hey makers this is Thruveen and in this episode I'm going to talk about how you can do multi select filter in power apps gallery this is one of the most common requirement where most of the developers are getting confused let's say for an example over here i have this kind of gallery and let's say i have positions over here now let's say whenever i want to provide this kind of multi select functionality over here for my filtering how can we apply that here we will look at this multi select functionality with the different flavors as well like sometimes in dataverse if you have a lookup column how at the time multi select will work or let's say for an example sometimes we have multi select choice column at the time how it will work we'll talk about all of those use cases in depth in today's session but before that if you haven't followed me on my twitter and instagram so far do follow me because these are the platform where i'm uploading short content on power platform and all the follow links are available in the description box as well First of all let me talk about the data structure we have over here so over here i have connected two tables over here one is employee and another is department and using this employee table i have created this grid at this moment this particular gallery has a very simple code in the items which is employees over here in my gallery i am showing the different column like employee id their name their position their department and along with that if i scroll down a little bit here i am also printing the devices information as well which is again my multi select choice column now the thing is that how we can apply multi select filter over here for regular filter it's always easy and anyone can apply on the gallery directly but for multi select there is some tips and tricks that we need to follow over here so let's get started right now in the item code i just connected my employees table over here Now the very first thing is that we need to create multi select drop down okay so for that we need to use one control called combo box so over here let me just go here and let me search for combo box over here and just insert one combo box for myself over here so you can see that the combo box has been added similar way i already added three combo box over here for three different filtering over here if you don't need this find item you can simply remove this place holder from the properties okay so let me just remove this unwanted one that i have here and now it's time to configure the combo box property so what i have done here is first of all i have renamed all my combo box like combo box position combo box department and combo box approved devices so there is three combo box i just renamed and now what i am doing here is i need to provide the item code of each combo box over here so select the first combo box over here and from here go to the item code and first of all let's say for an example i want to apply multi select filter on the position column so position is is a normal choice column in my dataverse table so for that let's go here and let's type a code choices and in choices you just need to provide the name of your dataverse column so my dataverse column name is position which is choice column so i'm just providing that and as soon as i provide it you can see that all the values are binded properly over here now to allow multi selection select your control and from here make sure that this property is turned on allow multiple selection so first drop down we bind successfully now second combo box that we need to bind is for lookup column which is my department column so first of all let's see in department what we have bind over here so here what we bind here is this item dot department dot name okay so department is coming uh, from department master table over here and we take as a lookup column over here okay so now to bind the lookup column we will simply use this kind of code over here so let me paste my code over here so what we have done here is simply we are providing the name of our data source which is my employees and then uh, from the lookup table which column we wanted to display here so my lookup column name is disha underscore department so i just provided it over here like this way okay and once we open it up you can see that my lookup drop down look like this okay now the next thing is that we need to bind our third drop down which is my devices drop down so devices is again my multi select choice column so multi select choice i have devices column so let's provide choices and in that provide devices and that's how we will first bind this particular 
drop down okay so we just bind this combo box over here and this is how it looks like and make sure that i did allow multiple selection everywhere over here and looks good all right so we bind all three combo boxes perfectly now it's time to filter out this data so let's say for an example if i'm selecting this two value depending on that this should be filtered okay and again this is my choice column so let's start writing our code over here so let's go to the gallery control and let's go and provide the filter code over here and make sure that you copy the id of each control over here so for position this is the id so let me just copy this thing for you over here so i just copied the id of this control now let's apply the filter code over here so use the formula filter and inside that employees we want to provide that filter and then do the comma and after that what we want to provide here is what column is referring for the position so position is the column so we need to provide the name of the column position in let's use in operator and provide your combo box dot its selected item and finish the bracket once you finish the bracket let's have a look you are not able to see any record at this moment but let's say i'm selecting junior developer and you can see that my data has been perfectly filtered over here let me select multiple one with practice lead so i'm selecting that and you can see now i can see junior developer along with practice lead as well over here if i unselect anything it will filter automatically over here but when it blanks it is not showing me anything so how to overcome this because when it it is blank or by default it is all then all the record should be displayed over here so with that we will implement one or condition over here so let's apply one or condition and in or condition we will just check like is empty or is blank so let's just check that so i'm just providing a code like is blank and inside the is blank let's provide our id which is combo box position underscore one dot selected items and along with that we can add one more condition like is empty we can check in both the ways and inside that as well let's provide the same combo box id dot selected items and that's how it looks like now let's format the code and that's how my whole code looks like now and let's finish one more bracket over here and format the text as soon as you do that you can see that i can able to see all the records by default when no record is selected then when you select appropriate record according to that it's filtering properly and you can see that right now it is not throwing me any delegation as well and it working absolutely perfect okay so this is all we are talking in terms of dataverse for sharepoint the slight code difference is there which you need to do okay so that's how it looks like for choice column now let's apply the same thing for lookup column so let's say for an example this is what my lookup column so over here we bind a drop down it hr and finance so for lookup column what you need to do here is let's go here and let's apply one more condition over here so let's do comma over here and just provide your lookup column name over here so let's say for an example over here you have department column as a lookup column and in that you have name property which you bind over there so department dot name because for lookup we always need to use column dot property name so name is somewhat which we are comparing and then we need to use in operator and inside that we need to provide from where we are looking for so let's copy the id of the drop down or combo box so my combo box id is combo box department one so let's provide that combo box department one dot selected items and that's how it looks like it's showing me an error after that we need to use one more dot operator and we need to check combo box dot selected items dot which property you want to compare so you need to type here dot name name is the one which you want to compare from it okay so if you have observed one thing that whenever i was typing dot name it was not showing me any intelligence that doesn't mean that it doesn't support so whatever you are providing over here department dot name uh, you can provide the same thing over here as well like combo box dot select 
selected item dot that name property okay now let's test this out first so let's say for an example let me select it so it is showing me the only it value hr so it and hr both is showing and now if i'm doing finance it will showing me the finance value let me remove couple of things from here and let me keep our only finance and i can see only finance data over here now again when i make it blank it is not showing me anything so what i can do here is again same way i can provide the similar kind of or condition over here as well inside this so let me just provide like is blank and provide inside that that combo box dot selected items selected items and we can also provide like is empty and inside that we can just provide like that combo box dot selected items that's it and finish the bracket finish the bracket and let's format the code and that's how the code looks like for the lookup column okay so for lookup column this is the process of filtering the multiple values now last thing i want to implement here is my last drop down which is devices column and devices is again a multi select choice column over here and this is how i am showing my multi select choice because in dataverse whenever you have multi choice column basically in the gallery this is how you are showing it concatenate and then your column name dot value and then you are showing comma separated value like this okay that's how it works in dataverse okay now what i'm planning to do here is i want to apply multi select filter over here for that now remember one thing whenever you have multi select choice column and you want to apply this kind of filtering at that time your filter formula is non delegable at this moment this is at the time where i am recording this video maybe in future if microsoft is improving their function always check the delegation guideline from the official microsoft document but at this moment in 2024 in month of february it is non delegable when you apply multi select filter on multi select choice column okay so but still let's apply it so so go to your gallery and now let's apply one more condition over here for that again let's copy the id of the uh, combo box so combo box approved devices is what my name is and what we need to do here for that is uh, we simply need to use for all loop over here first so over here to apply for multi select use for all condition in for all first of all you need to provide your combo box dot selected items so this is what my combo box looks like and after that you just need to provide combo box dot selected items this record dot value because ultimately you are applying a for all on your uh, combo box and this record dot value in you need to check your actual column from the dataverse which is your approved devices column from the dataverse and it has dot value so let's check that dot value okay this is what you need to check over here and if this is true so you just need to like is true in this for all then this is the way it will work let's format a code and as soon as you format the code you can see that this is the delegation warning because when you have multi select choice column and when you try to apply the filter like this it is always non delegable function so it will show you the delegation warning like this now let's test this so now let's say for an example if i'm selecting laptop so you can see that all the products that contain laptop it is showing me over here okay if i'm selecting phone then what happen here is it will apply one or condition either the value is laptop or a uh, phone this is what it is showing so over here you can see that laptop and desktop but it is applying uh, or condition so laptop is there so it is still showing me this value over here same way it is showing me laptop uh, phone desktop all three stuff over here like this okay let's say for an example over here let's say i have laptop phone and i want like end condition if both the value is satisfied only at that time i want to show the filter then we need to do a little bit of tweak over here so let me show you how it will look like so let's say right now you have just written a condition over here like true in um, for all right that's what you have written so instead of true you can simply uh, type here like false okay and after that you just do the opposite of that so just use not inside that and what it will do is it will simply do the opposite action 
than we earlier was doing so let's say for an example now i'm selecting laptop and phone over here so you can see both the values are there then only it is showing me the result okay and now if i'm selecting all three then it will show only record where all the values are existing over here so basically it's just applying as the end and to do the, with the or we just did it earlier okay so i'm just clearing all out and you can see that now it is showing the value which only has uh, which all has laptop as a inclusion okay and when you select multiple it will just consider as a end condition so yeah that's it for today so this is what as an end outcome we have achieved and over here you can always set this kind of placeholder for yourself so it will look nicer at this moment and you know that delegation warning is due to this multi-select choice column okay hope this video helps you and values your time if so hit thumbs up and subscribe my channel and press the bell notification to never miss any updates from me looking for any paid consultation or training connect to my website www.powerplatformtrainings.com and don't forget to follow me on my instagram and twitter all the links are available in the description box with this this is truveen signing off see you in the next session with some amazing content till then have a great day goodbye